same. Like you're doing all this for a reason. And what happens most of the time is people change. People change around you because they start changing. What's going on, people? What is the deal, Leo? Got this uh, question. And I get this question quite a bit. Usually it's like, hey, Glendon, I'm a teen. What can I do to make some money? I'm thinking about starting a business. Uh, this particular lad is 18 years old. He's trying to figure out how he can put some loot in his pocket this summer or for the foreseeable future. Since I'm thinking he's 18, he's graduated or is about to graduate. Well, probably graduated, I would assume. This would be my advice to you. First of all, think service type business. For the number one reason, you have no experience. Unless, I'll give you an example of someone whose son did something, but because his mama wasn't down with it, it ended. Her son went to hang out with his dad for a few years, and he learned ballroom dancing. He's really good at it. So... Her son, who's 6'2", he was looking to make some money, and he just put up, you know, I'll teach you how to do ballroom dance uh, on Craigslist. You know, 25 bucks a lesson. Dude was doing two to four lessons a day, but his mama didn't like it because he's a handsome young man, and a lot of women were signing up for the lessons because he was like 6'2", you know, diesel and everything, good looking guy. And he was working, you know, using what the what his mama gave him. He was working with his mama gave him, but she didn't like it because and it gives all the women touching my young son. I was like, <sighs> you know, for someone who was young, and I think he was 16, 17 at the time, there was two things that happened there. Uh, one, he took action. Two, he was good at something. Three, he was enjoying himself. And I have a feeling he was making more money than his mama. I actually have a feeling that was the real problem. Call me crazy. But like that young man, you, you have to think of something service-oriented. If you're going to, you know, there's, there's glimpses of things you can do, but let's just be real. You don't have any skill sets unless, you know, you can do dance lessons, unless you are good. I will give you another thing. When I got my Mac computer, whenever I need to do something, I would go to YouTube and it was always some British kid. There are many adults who are still afraid of technology. There's this thing I saw the other day, Tech Neon, some kind of computer for elderly people, and it was like, you gotta be kidding me. Who, babies are using iPads. Babies, all right, I, I, babies are figuring out iPads. So there are a lot of adults not because of their capacity, but more so of their fear, who, are, who can't embrace technology. So, if you're a teen looking to make money, my first bit of advice to you would be, number one, create a spreadsheet of everything you know how to do. Babysitting, car wash, tune-ups, fix it, everything that you know how to do. Create that spreadsheet. I, I'm not going to recommend eBay and I'm not going to recommend Amazon FBA anymore. Uh, I have moved away from that. That's off my recommend list, so I'm not even talking about that. But if you want to do those things, there's plenty of you, videos here on YouTube that can hook you up with that information. Now, after you have created this list of things that you can do, I will, you know, before I go there, if you do want to hustle on Craigslist, that's a great way to make money. Hustling on Craigslist is a great way to make money. But the thing is, you have to have failure stamina. You can list 30 things on Craigslist and none of that shit sells. It's going to happen. But if you continue to list 30 things that the public wants at the right price, you will make sales. It's going to happen. So Craigslist, flipping stuff, that's a great way to make money. You know, whether it's being the summer, you can go to garage sales, you can buy stuff super cheap and actually sell it back on Craigslist, clean it up or bundle it up. So you can do that. Now, let's predicate this advice on the fact that you have no money. Once again, service business. Because if you have no money, 
you have no transportation. And a lot of people are in that situation where they're just completely ass out on both of those fronts. Then you're going to have to do something service oriented, which goes back to create a list of things you can do. Now, here's a new list of things you can do. You can cut grass. You can clean out driveways. You can pressure wash. You can do manual labor. Um, essentially, you know, what I'm going to do. No, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. that. That's crazy. But essentially, you have to learn how to introduce yourself, go knock on doors, window washing, um, like I said, yard work, dog walking. Actually, walking dogs is a big business. I don't know if you have a license for that now. But anything that you can make someone else's life easier in the vein of service, walking the dogs, taking their laundry to the cleaners, uh, watching kids, or uh, if you're a really smart kid, tutoring dumb kids during the summer. It's big business. Big, big business. If you know how to paint, you know how to, or hey, you know there's some chubby kids in your neighborhood, organize a running club. Now, this is the thing that kills so many people because we want to debase our abilities, like say you can start the running club, what most people will do is do it for free because they don't think there's value in it. So they'll do it for free, go ahead and get these things and everyone's going, ooh, wee, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And you make no money. There's a certain currency that's called authority by doing such things, but it's hard to translate that into money if you don't have a money mindset. So you've got your list of things. There will be a ton of repetition in this video. You've got your list of things and you're adding the stuff that you think you can do. That's the next thing. You know, number one sheet of paper is all the things I can do, all of my skill sets. Number two, things that you think you can do or that you can learn within a few weeks because if you can learn something within a month, then go out and make money from that, that's a win. Uh, I would not recommend going to trade school, technical school, or any of that stuff that's going to require you to put out a shitload of money before you learn how to make money without a job. I'm revising a lot of this stuff because I've looked at some of these technical schools. They are just ex as expensive as traditional college. And there's the same issue if, you know, you're going to technical school and there is no robust pool of available jobs, you're going to be in the same position. You went to school, got these student loans, and you still don't have a job. So learn how to hustle and get your point, get your, you know, set income goes. You know, you're a kid. I'm going to give you, because a lot of kids don't really think in terms of real money. You know, some, you know, if you're 18 and you get paid 1500 bucks a month, that's a lot of money because you're living at home. You don't have the regular expenses of a fully independent human being. So it's a lot of money, right? So this is going to be scary, but, you know, set your income goal at 3000 per month. That's what you want to set it at. So you've got to reverse engineer, what do I need to do to earn $3,000 a month? And when I say 3000 is... If you get it, great. If you don't, you're going to come closer than if you just like, I just want to make as much money as I possible. You know, I just want to make a lot of money. You know, I just want to get paid, bro. I want to get paid. No, that is foolish. It's not going to get you where you want to go. So I'm giving you 3000 a month. That's what you're shooting for. So here's a quick exercise. Say you detail cars and it's $50 per car. That's what you can get for doing the detail inside, outside, armor all in the tires, and putting smell good in the back seat. So what you do is you take $3,000 and you divide that by 50. So however many cars it takes to get to $3,000, that's your goal. That's what you're shooting for. Then you take that number and you break it down to how many you have to do per week. So at $50, it's kind of simple math because every 10 is 500, right? Every 20 is 1,000, right? So that's 60 cars per month. So what you do with the 60 is you times that times four. So that's 15 cars per week. Your goal is 15 cars per week. 
to make your three thousand per month. Now that is gross revenue. That is not, you know, net because you will have expenses. You have to buy armor all. You've got water. You got to buy soap. So, you know, I don't know the car wash business, but let's just say your expenses are three to four hundred bucks a month for all that. Three to four hundred bucks. So that you know, you're, you're still gross at three thousand, and you you make well over two. Now, if you make twenty five hundred to twenty six hundred net. That's what you take home before you pay taxes. That is uh, pretty much average income for self-sufficient adults in America. Most people in this country make under 30000 a year. Yes, most. <laughs> well, at least half. Okay. Well, half make less than 50 Gs. So you could say a good 50% of the people in this country make under thirty grand per year. So by creating the business and providing the service, you can hit that level quickly. Now, if you know, you've know you got your list, right? Once again, with the repetition, what can you do? What do you think you can do? And think service business, service business, service business. Also, when you're doing this, set a one to two year goal that you're gonna put some of your money away and you know, it, you're a kid. So anything that you can do to get money is great. You don't have to be in love with it, you don't have to like it. Forget this. Well, you know, if it's my pat, no, fuck that. You're trying to make money, you're trying to learn how to make money in the world. And unlike many people, if you're a kid, you have time on your side. You could fuck around for two, three, four, five, six years easy, and it's not really going to impact your future as if you're fucking around and you're 40 or 50. Big difference. So take advantage of the time. Also, if you're a kid and you want to make money, start a business, think international. If you notice that how we are in love with people with accents, like someone, like I, I got a thing for Bahamian women with that accent, or, or if, it, if it's an accent attached to it, we're just like, ooh. Well, guess what? The same thing happens across the pond. They feel the same way about us. I've been there, I've been to Japan, I've been to Europe. They feel the same way. So. You know, you graduated high school, don't know what you want to do. Kind of like go and say, hey, what can I do across the way? You might be able, if you're a girl, become an all, all parent for a year or two with some family and get to live in Europe and get paid for it. It's a learning experience. I'm not saying do this forever and ever, have goals. If you're a dude, hey, Peace Corps. Um, all of these things, because the thing is, once you get over there and you've got your laptop and you've got the internet, you can do an internet business. And I bring up internet businesses last because typically the problem for kids trying to start an internet business is they're trying to start something that's already done, that takes money. If you can create a new app, if you have the ability to do something different, you know how to code. Also, I would say if you're a kid, and this is, will not make you money immediately, but you can go online, Ruby Rails, and learn how to code for free. If you took this summer and did nothing more than code your ass off, you would put yourself in a position to get a job within a year or less, if that's what you want. Because once you learn how to code, once you learn to make stuff, then you can sell that skills. You can make apps for people. Because there are so many businesses that are run by one person who doesn't have time or the mental bandwidth to do all this stuff, that you can just go around your town and make apps for these businesses. It's like, hey, you need an app, and I'll charge you a hundred bucks for an app and use a template that, you know, costs you 25 bucks and use that shit over like 15, 20 times, and you know, you made two, excuse me, two, three, four, five grand from your app business, making apps, making websites, running stuff, uh, being a social media manager for companies like say hey you know i'll come you know find the company right i'll set up your twitter account i'll set up your facebook page and i'll you know for 100 bucks a month i'll run that for you you know it's, and, you know i'll put in five hours a week you know i'll answer your tweets and everything i'll communicate with you and then you go out and you get 20 companies they're paying you 100 bucks a month that's two grand you know income and you're just wash, rinse, and repeat. So as a kid or a teen, 
you have to think of doing stuff that other people don't want to do that's fairly cheap um, doesn't cost a lot of money doesn't cost a lot of time because another thing you can do is I don't know if it's saturated it could be saturated but if you know how to fix cell phones I know uh, making repairing screens was one thing unlocking go to YouTube learn how to unlock phones there's tutorials that'll teach you how to unlock your phone you unlock the phone for 25 bucks just really really use your mind because the money is out there. there's no shortage of money understand that there's no shortage of money there is no shortage of people who have requirements the shortage is in activity because people don't want to work they don't want to do the hard stuff and also once again as a kid you know just say I'm gonna spend a year doing this I'm gonna spend two years doing this I'm gonna spend three years doing this and then if while you're in the midst of doing whatever you're doing and something else is more appealing set up a plan for it don't just like hey I'm gonna hop off of this and I'm gonna do this thing don't do that just like okay how can I set up this plan how can I um, create a situation where I can get to this point because if you're you know and another thing if you're a kid you know I say kid with a degree because 21 22 23 24 you're still a kid to me take your degree across the pond go look for jobs in the different parts of the world just say hey you know get your visa together get your passport together and say hey I'll be in Asia for two years or three years when you come back when it's like you're know, looking at your resume, if you're still playing that hamster game of resumes, and it's like, wow, lived in Europe too. That stands out. It stands out. It's better than high GPA, better than, you know, I know Biff. I lived in Europe. Uh, I uh, created a club in Europe. I learned, you know, I became fluent in the language because I immersed myself. I mean, that type of stuff separates you from the rest of the posse. And also, if you're a kid, and this is just, you know, me to you think about the military you have to have your high school diploma to get in the military now no more GED two three years and pick somewhere far away from home I joined the army and I spent six and a half years in there and it was one of the best decisions of my life I got to see parts of the world in a way that I would never see them even now even with money because I got to go places that you know, regular people couldn't go um, it is an awesome way awesome awesome way if I could do the military over again I would have still do it the same way I'm still do it the same way because I got some awesome experiences but if you don't want to do the military you're 18, 19, 20 okay get yourself some skills coding, babysitting, whatever and just say hey I'm going to take a year and go to, go around the world it's not as expensive as you think it is because you're going to go kid style hostels um hanging out maybe get three or four of you together and just like boom just do this it because the thing is i'm gonna just tell you from me to you i traveled when i was your age and it shaped my perspective for the rest of my life going around the world 18 19 20 22 23 24 26 is totally different than going around the world at 30 something 40 something 50 something big difference big difference in how you relate to people big difference in how people relate to you you're more open you don't have all this mental baggage it is just a, an awesome way to get a different kind of education um, I think travel is some of the best education in the world I mean what 15% of the United States population is a passport holder and only only uh, let's see hold on a second and only a handful of those people actually use their passports on a regular basis so you, you have to really think about that because this is an opportunity for you to do something different than what everyone else is doing this is an opportunity for you to build a life and 
take your perspective, your abilities, and how you live your life on a wholly different level. I mean, it's just an incredible way for you to separate yourself from the pack because that's your big thing. It's not your ability. It's being discovered, being saying someone's going, hey, that little dot is red while the other dots are blue. You just have to do things for yourself to make yourself stand out. That That's just very, very important going forward because where we live in the world today is just global global I mean it's coming you know you're not competing with Biff or Stan you're competing with you know Ratun Bahif you're you're competing with the world now and the sooner that you learn that and embrace that and know how to deal with it it's just going to be much better for you and your future because we have a lot of people who don't understand that being a creator, being a person who innovates and creates their own economy is going to be the norm. It's going to be the norm. It's going to be something you're going to have to do. Right now, you know, you have the option to want to do it because, you know, there's still the ability to get jobs if you train yourself. It's going away. So the, as a kid, if you learn how to handle a business, learn how to do accounting, talk to customers, and you do this stuff now, these are things that will be with you for the rest of your life. This is just something that's going to be an incredible way for you to take care of yourself and take care of your family because these skills are super, super important. And they're never, ever going to go away because... We all have to learn how to be salespeople at some point. We, we, we have to learn how to do that thing. So if you're a kid and you want to start a business, make some money, do it. And you will stumble and you will fail, you will fall down, you will have uh, issues, you will not be successful as you want to be successful initially don't let that stop you take that as part of the grooming process of you becoming successful you know this, this is just part of it don't lose your mind don't start falling apart and saying woe is me just go hey I started this thing I really don't know how to do it um, but I'm learning and as I learn I'll become better and I'll be able to do this thing I'll be able to become productive I'll be able to fulfill my dreams because many people give up way too soon they, they give up too soon and they think because there is some uh, disruption in the force that hey you know because I, I really hate when I hear someone you know I'm not trying to insult you if you really is like well God didn't want me to have that no maybe you didn't fucking work hard enough that, that's more applicable. That's really more applicable. So that's just something for you to think about. But as a kid, think service, think starting a business. And also, as a kid, if you are the one who can be the leader, own that position. You know, if you got your boys or your girls working for you, you be the leader because you started it. This whole thing, or we're all the same, we're all equal. Okay, if you're all equal, why are you the one starting the business and hiring them? You're not putting out equal action, so you're not equal. Unless that you get together and it's like, yeah, I have a business and I'm going to bring my customers to your customer. Okay, at that point, you're equals. But if you are the generator of the business, you're the one that's making the money, you're, you're the one that's selling the product or selling the service and bringing them in, you are the spearhead. You are the woman or the man on the white horse, and you need to own that position. I know we live in a world of collaboration, but someone always is the initiator there's someone that starts the thing there's someone that builds the empire there's someone that pushes forward and if that's you at an early age understand you've given yourself an incredible leverage point for your future because many people don't want to be in that situation they want the perks 
They want the privilege and they want the money of that, but they don't want the uh, hardship and they don't want the responsibility. The sooner you learn to accept it, own it, and be cool with it, the sooner that your life's going to be wealthy in ways that you can't just, you can't imagine. All right. If you like the video, you like the content, be sure there's these blocks are either here or here because I forget when I'm doing this on my phone. But check out Hustlers University. It's free. Get your free audio book. That's going to help you a lot. Then there's Hustlers Camp, the Hustlers Mindset, Strengthening Your Mind. And then there's 30 Days to 2500. That will help you tremendously if you're going to start a business. And if you want to talk to me, booyah. There it is right there. So just check that stuff out. Look at it. Pick what works for you. Uh, everything is not real expensive. Actually, I brewed some stuff down that's if you can't afford this, then just kill yourself. I mean, seriously, your life really sucks in major ways. Um, and then, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this. And I'll see you on the good side.